Hi guys, this is Gabriel from Catspace. Just want to do a quick video about drawing templates in SolidWorks. Basically, I want to set up a drawing template for this part. Just use a sample part, something easy. Just do like normal and go to File Drawing from Part. Just use a standard drawing template in here, and just use a, again just an ISO A3. So basically, that just gets you the standard. Uh, sheet format and title block and all that sort of stuff and what I want to do is just I always want my drawings to have a front view a top view, a side view and I also always want them to have an isometric view on the side here and I want that always to be shaded as well Okay. now that's kind of what I want all the time so I've set that up next thing I want to set up is the sheet format uh, basically the sheet format is the actual title block and you can see here already that I've got um, some stuff from the from the standard templates. Um, what I want to do is just right click edit sheet format and that gets me and I can now edit this sheet format. What I want to do is add my logo in here so I'm just going to delete this text um, just so I can insert uh, my image. Um, the way I insert it is through the object, um, create from file and then just find it in my my Windows Explorer. The reason I use Insert Object is because it produces a much higher quality image, uh, better resolution for printing. And I've had some problems with some customers before when they just use Insert Picture. Now that's my logo there. Now what I want to do is, on top of that, I actually want to be able to type in drawn by, checked by, and all that sort of stuff without having to go into the properties, custom property manager. So what I want to do is right click again and say define title block. Now it gives me this little hotspot window. I just want to make, reduce it to make sure that it only activates in the title block. Um, and the other thing I want to do is I want to be able to type in drawn by and the date, checked by and the date, approved by and the date. And the reason I'm doing it in this order is because you can actually use tab as well. And this is the order it will remember it in. That's company name, so I won't put that in there because it should always be the name of your company. Um, and just hit OK. Okay, just edit, exit that edit sheet format mode. Um, nothing's really changed, but as soon as I put my mouse over this title block, you can see the hotspot that I was talking about. Just double click on that, and now I can start editing things and typing stuff in there. What I normally do is you can see up here, I normally put four X's um, for my template, just so people know that these things are the ones that you can fill out. And if it didn't remember it, Again. And again, I'm just using that tab just to make it a little bit quicker for myself. And the next one is for fishing. Okay, now there it is. And what that's done is it's a shortcut of instead of going up to file properties and typing in my my names and, and my custom properties here, I can just do it straight to the screen. Just makes it a lot easier. So I'm happy with this. What I want to do is I want to start saving my template now. Um, if I just want to show you something, just something to remember. If I had a new sheet, it remembers that I actually use an ISO standard A3, and you can see that I don't have my title block there, my um, yeah, my title block. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this one, and I'm going to update the reference. So I really need to save the sheet format first. So we go to File, this option here, Save Sheet Format, which is the title block, and just make sure you save it as your company name just easy to remember and then the size that you use that's a3 and again still hasn't saved because if I hit the new sheet it still hasn't remembered so what I need to do is update the reference so if I right click and hit properties it's just using my standard format so just uncheck that and go all the way down to the bottom or wherever the your the name is that you typed and just hit OK so that now when I click a new sheet it's using my my title block and, and my logo as well so that's what I want to do so that my template is correctly assigned and referenced. Um, so once that's done, I just want to save now, save as, and to a drawing template. And you see I'm not really worried about where I'm saving it, it usually goes to the correct location, unless you've updated it, in which case you should really look into your tools, options, and document locations. And what I want to do is again, oops, just want to set call, name that same as before, Catspace A3. Now it's giving me a note saying I can only save predefined or in previews um, any models, dimensions will be removed and you can't save any section views, detail views or crop views so that's fine. If I hit OK, OK 
can see here they're all empty because they're just containers for the next time I use this template. So I can just close this now. Stable, that's fine. And the next time I use this template, I go to File, Make Drawing from Part. You can see now I have my template. I will click on that. And so now it's remembered my logo, all my components, and all my views as well. Now I just want to try one more different part. And it works exactly the same way. File, and then, sorry, make drawing from part. Which again, you just use my template. And there it is again. Okay, saves you from actually putting those views in yourself and it's got your logos. And that way we can just go into model items, insert all my items and, you know, all my dimensions are there as well. If I want to add in, you know, who's drawn it, I can just type it in here. Okay. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, send me an email. Thanks. Bye.